And now here let's solve some more problems. 3.2 divided by negative 4 tenths. Okay, again, first ignore the negative number there, the negative sign, and think of it as 3.2 divided by 0 0.4. And that's a mental math trick to that, because those numbers behave nicely. This one goes evenly here. How many times does 4 tenths fit or go into 3.2? The answer is exactly 8 times, right? But we just need to take it as a negative answer because it's a positive divided by a negative. This one here, 2 thirds divided by 6, is a simple fraction division. 2 thirds, you remember how to divide fractions? You need to change the division into a multiplication and 6 into its reciprocal, like that. And then it's easy to multiply, though I can simplify before I multiply as 1 and 3, so it gets just 1 ninth. This is a regular decimal division. Do you remember how to do those? If the divisor, this number here, is a decimal, you, you don't directly use long division. Instead, we will change this into another problem where the divisor is a whole number. And by multiplying both of these by 10, I will get a new problem, a new division problem, that will have the same answer as this one, but it will have 13 as a divisor. So I multiply both by 10 and I get 905.5 divided by 13. And then I use long division. I'm going to add some decimal zeros here. I anticipate it not being an even division. So 13 goes to 90 here um, six times. So we get 78. Then over here, 125. And now, here it goes, 9 times. It's 90, 117. And then we get 85. And it again goes 6 times. Then we get 70. Now it goes 5 times. And then 50, it goes three times, and so on, and so on. Okay, so this would continue, and I would need to, I can cut it off here and round it to two decimal digits, and get the answer as 69.65. Here, I tried to create as difficult a fraction division problem as I could. Does it look like very difficult? Not really. You know, that's a negative and a negative. But when you divide neg negative by negative, you get a positive answer. So we can just ignore those negatives from the start. And then it is just two mixed numbers. To divide fractions, you need to use this, of course. You change it into multiplication. But even before that, since it's mixed numbers, we change the mixed numbers into fractions first. So here we get 15 over 8 divided by 5 fourths. I know this, I just dropped the negatives because I know the answer will be positive. And now we change it into a multiplication problem. 4 over 5. And here, nicely, I, will, I can again simplify before I multiply. 3 here, 1 here. And all that is left is 3 over 2, or 1 and a half. A very simple answer. Lastly, this problem, I want to again show you two ways to do it. First of all, we could use decimal division, okay, in long division, just basic long division, and just get our answer as a negative. And then we'll find another way to do it too. 4 goes to 3, 0 times. 4 goes to 37, 9 times. So we get 36, and then 15, it goes 3 times. And now I will continue the division, add some decimal zeros here. 4 goes to 37 times, we get 28, and then to 20. And now it was even division, so that's our answer. Let's compare that if we do this division using fractions, because this number is easy to write as a fraction. 0.75 would, go, would be 3 fourths, right? So this is actually negative 3 and 3 fourths divided by 4. Again, we need to change this into a fraction first. 
So there's 15, negative 15 over 4, divided by 4. And now we change the division into a multiplication. Negative 15 over 4 times, and then this needs to change into its reciprocal number, 1 fourth. Flip it over, so to speak. Now we are ready to multiply. Nothing simplifies here. The answer will be negative, and we get 15 over 16. Negative 15 over 16. And this answer should be negative too. I'll put a negative sign there now. And notice, the answers look totally different, right? But they must be equal if I did my calculations right. And indeed, if you change this negative 15 over 16 into a decimal, you will get exactly this. You can check it with the calculator, okay? So they are equal even though they look different. Okay, we're all done and I hope this was helpful.